Hello and welcome back to Cube VR. The last time I drew a circle on the ground so that I know how big my silos should be. And I think it was 6221. Or 6212. Uh, I think 6221. And then 226. Good thing is that I drew it on the ground. <laughs> so let's see. Six, two, one. One, two, six. Okay. Hmm. I thought it was a bit more interesting. Well, everyone can make mistakes. Do I have enough inventory space? Maybe I should make a chest. I wanted to make a chest a couple of episodes ago and I still didn't make one. Or did I? No. Ah, I did. <sighs> It's been a week and I already forgot everything. Ah, I'm getting old. <laughs> so, uh, this one. Mm, I don't need pocket now. And this one. And cobblestone floor. Well, maybe cobblestone floor? Uh, this one? Mm. Mm, nah. No. So I wanted to place two silos behind my house and I actually want to have them here. And I saw that there's still a lot of um, a little hill, so I have to remove the hill. Uh, yeah. So two silos here. So the question: Should they stand like this or like this? Hmm. Ah, I'm sorry. If I place them like this... Oh, sorry. So, one here and one here. I could have a barn here. Or a field. If I place them so... I think so is better, so I can actually... Okay, what is better? Like this or like this? I think so would... Ah, that's a really tough question. And it's important. At least for me. <laughs> I don't want to... Uh, have to... <laughs> hmm. I think if you look from here, it would look better with this direction okay good that's settled let's get to work why did my nose start to one it's really strange uh, so let's get rid of those trees first I can use the wood for something, so okay, let's collect all the wood. Ah, too big, okay. So. Come in. Come. Nice. So, here and here. So. Ah, 
actually, I asked the J Novel Club, that's a publisher, an ebook or book novel publisher in the United States, and they publish light novels and manga. And I have the novel Ascendance of a Bookworm. And yeah, I asked them for permission to actually read the first um, chapters of the first volume on a live stream. I promised to read a book for my anniversary or uh, for my um, 1000 sub special. But because the Restream bot decided to freeze the chat, I thought that no one was present and I just ended my stream. I'm still really um, sad about this because I feel that I let all of the people in that were actually watching, um, I let them down. That's what I feel and I'm really sorry about this. And I don't think um, reading them, them Cinderella would be enough to quench their anger. So yeah, I thought maybe I can read the first couple of cap um, chapters of Ascendance of a Bookworm. It's a really awesome novel. I talked about it before. <laughs> That's actually the reason why I got an ebook reader. And yeah, it's really well written. Even today at work, I read another chapter. I read it in my um, um, break time. And it's so well written. I know what's happening because it's still at the part where it's covered in the anime. But it's still better than the anime. And that's nothing new. I knew before that the novel has always more information than an anime could ever have. The best example for it is still Sword Art Online. When Kirito first used his dual swords to defeat the red gleaming eye monster, or whatever it was called. And yeah, in the anime it was about five seconds, and in the novel it felt like a minute. It was really intense. You actually felt the pressure that Kirito felt while executing his dual sword techniques. And the novel was so much better. Same for every big battle. And it's actually normal that the novel has more information because on paper you can put so much more information than in just a couple of seconds in the anime. The same fate um, happened to Fate Day Night, <laughs> or actually Fate Unlimited Blade Works, because only anime watcher think that Shiro is a pretty shallow and not so deep character and that he is actually pretty dumb. But it's the opposite. If you read the virtual novel, then you know that um, Shiro had a lot of uh, inner monologue and that he actually thought about the stuff that he did yeah that's and yeah it just doesn't um, convey in the anime because they couldn't show 23 minutes of Shiro talking to himself about Archer's back <laughs> so yeah they had to keep this all short that's why Shiro's character didn't get developed as good as he actually is. Same for the Ilya route in Lost Butterfly or Heaven's Feel, the Heaven's Feel movies. I think the last one was Lost Butterfly. I'm not so sure. So the third or last movie in the Heaven's Feel saga. So Ilya's Field von Einspan actually did get almost the whole route, but it got complete, completely cut for the anime. And that's actually a bit sad. I wanted to hear Ilya sing Die Lorelei. <laughs> 
Oh, there are some coal. Come here. Yeah, novel is always superior when it comes to information. A movie or anime or a normal series or sitcom or whatever does have the advantage of animated picture. So you can actually see stuff that you have to read. So if you don't have that good of an imagination, then reading a book can be not as thrilling as, for example, watching the movie. Oh no! Oops. No! Twice in a row too small. So and one piece fell down. I actually contacted the train novel club via email on their normal contact um, mail and I actually got confirmation that they redirected my email to the corresponding um, division in their company. So maybe I can get permission to read a few chapters. Would be nice. Where am I? Here am I. I know it, um, reading a book has nothing to do with VR content, but um, yeah, I want to try it because a lot of people said that they liked my voice and maybe reading a book can also be pretty nice for them. This will still be a normal VR channel, but um, I could have, for example, once a month a stream where I just read a book or something. Maybe some people will like it and I can make their day a bit better and that's what would make me actually happy. Because lately I got a lot of um, praise and compliments for my voice and that I make the people happy and that I make their days a lot better. And it's actually really nice. Yeah, as long as I can make people happy. Why not? And if people don't like it because they don't like my reading voice or because my reading is actually pretty bad. I don't know if I'm good at reading or not, because um, in school I was always really bad, because I read way too fast. But yeah, who knows? Maybe reading to some people on stream can actually help me um, get better at this. Then I can develop as a human, which would be nice. Personal development is always something good. Will probably never help me because <laughs> out of um, my YouTube videos, I don't think that I will ever have to read any stories to someone in English. But who knows? Maybe I got a fiance in New Zealand. Who knows? <laughs> life is full of surprises. You never know where life takes you. Okay, that sounded a bit cheesy. Look at this. 
But yeah, you never know what will happen. So who knows? Maybe it can help. And I actually want to <laughs> try reading a book to you. And because it's something that I want to do as well, I see no problem why I shouldn't do it on my channel. Oh, that's, oh, that's interesting. Never thought this. So yeah, let's hope that the Shane Novel Club will approve and give me permission to read, then we can all be happy. You know, I want to have it a really cozy stream, like um, in the background I will have a nice fireplace with some sound effects of just a fire. Then I will read the book. Not in VR, but um, I will use my table microphone. I used it for my German Alex um, Let's Play and for some tutorial videos. For example, the um, few distance video that I uploaded a couple of days ago. I might have to um, change the settings of my microphone a bit because right now it sometimes cuts off the voice which could be problematic while reading but yeah I can change this live while um, the chat is telling me that my voice is cut off or whatever. I still haven't um, decided the material that I want to use to decide, Zilo. I thought maybe um, dark processed wood and light processed wood in alteration. Oops. Or maybe I should use um, red bricks for the base. And then light processed wood. A lot of... A lot of wood. Maybe I should make a chest. Mm. Bush. Oh. Only one, okay. Then I will take this and put this here. Whoops. I ah, come here. So no, you. So. The house here is actually pretty nice. I don't um, feel too cramped. It's nice and okay. -ish. Though I would just place the chest here because I can. Oops. 
so that I don't have to bend down because I'm lazy and old. So the lower level is light wood and the upper level is dark wood. White paint, I don't need white paint. So. Oops. So. When I saw my house and I got the idea for the silos, I actually had a mind that it would look a bit like in Harvest Moon or Story of Season, what it's nowadays. I'm a big um, Story of Season and Harvest Moon fan since 1998? I think 98 or 1999. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. I got to secondary school in 96. So three years. Yeah, 99. Nah, 98. Yeah, 1998. Since 1998, I had Harvest Moon 3 for Game Boy Color. I played it with the Super Game Boy on my Super Nintendo. Hmm. And then I got Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. No, Harvest Moon Back to Nature was the original title for the PlayStation 1. And the European um, release actually had a bug. And when you married someone, the game froze. Back then there was no day one patch because there was no internet for consoles. Or not really. There was an internet strike and you could dial in with your telephone to the internet somehow. Even though there was not even a single um, online game that you could play on the PlayStation. At least I don't um, know any. So yeah, um, Harvest Moon Back to Nature was a really big game for me, it had a lot of impact. The graphics were awesome and I spent so much time in the game. And because I couldn't marry, I was in year 5 and had every marriage candidate on Max heart, every um, pounds person on Max affinity and all the stuff. It was a really nice game. I even got the remake for the Game Boy Advance and that was um, Friends of Mineral Town. And then we got um, more Friends of Mineral Town in 2018? 2019? 2019. We got more Friends of Mineral Town. Uh, Game Boy Advance port of a PlayStation port <laughs> for PC and Switch. I also got it for nostalgia region, uh, reasons. And yeah, it did have all of the quality of life changes f that the Game Boy Advance version had. And even some more, I guess, I think. The only thing that was not so nice was that they changed this, um, the sprites and how the characters looked. I know they couldn't have kept the PlayStation 1 version and the Game Boy Advance version was definitely not worth any HD port. So they went with the more current look of the Story of Season games, which is okay because this way they could 
um, get to new people and they knew that the old guys would still get it for nostalgia <laughs> what we did but it was a bit strange to see the people look so different they did some nice changes for example um, Mary the girl in the library looked much better with your new spites but um, yeah some didn't get so nice for example Popori I liked her in the PlayStation version way better there is actually a mod to revert them to their original looks for this you need the original PlayStation CD <laughs> I do have the original CD still I have almost all of my PlayStation 1 and 2 games still. I sold quite a lot of PlayStation 2 games because they took away a lot of space and yeah, I got some money. But yeah. Overall, um, the More Friends of Mineral Town port was pretty nice. I made a German Let's Play with it. Even though it wasn't that um, successful, it's still nice. I still played it um, off camera quite a lot. Got pretty far. And I still like it. And once you actually are in the mountain or in winter, you see the snowfall, you have the nice winter melody. It's really nice. The quality of life changes are really welcome. But there is also some really strange stuff. For example, you have um, strawberry milk cows and Cappuccino cows. Um, yeah, that's a bit strange. And alpacas, because in every story of season game there has to be an alpaca now. You can also um, get um, pets. In the original PlayStation version, you only got like the dog. And the horse. And now you can buy different dogs, cats. And what was the other thing? A cat, dog. There are four different pets that you can get. One is a capybara. And what was the fourth one? Hmm. It wasn't two different dogs, no. You can buy different dog races, so... What was the other thing? Hmm. Pet, dog, capybara... And... I have no idea right now, sorry. So, if I look it up, I could probably really easily find it. But yeah, right now I can't look at any stuff because I'm playing. And I don't want to do something else while playing because then I don't even need to bother with playing. <laughs> oh, almost done with the trees. Oops. Ah, I still want to play Wound Factory 5 actually. I still don't have my Switch, <laughs> it's still at my brother's. Didn't saw him since January. Last time I saw him was at New Year. Hmm.
I actually hope that Rune Factory 5 would get some discounts in the future so that I can actually get the game. Because right now it's still pretty expensive. Okay, some chunks flew up here. Ah, here. Okay. Because nowadays um, I like Rune Factory better than Story of Season. Rune Factory was actually just a spin-off of the Harvest Moon franchise or Story of Season franchise. When I say Harvest Moon I actually mean the current Story of Season, so the original Harvest Moon by Natsumi published games. Not the Harvest Moon games that you can get now, because they are just Harvest Moon in name, but not in nature. <laughs> so yeah, um, Rune Factory started off as a spin-off, a bit more RPG and action-oriented than the normal Rune Factory, uh, Harvest Moon. And yeah, people liked it. I got the first one. I I actually started with Rune Factory 2 and I loved it. I grinded for materials more than I had to, just because I wanted to increase my school building and I wanted those materials and I wanted a specific weapon and it was a lot of fun. Then I got Rune Factory 1, 3, 4. And I got the 4 special edition for Switch again. And thanks to this I should get some bonus when I start Rune Factory 5. Uh, I can leave those because they will disappear once I leave the world. And they shouldn't affect my performance that hard, so those two locks are free to stay. So, now I just need to shuffle everything here. Or maybe not everything, but um, at least to the point that I can build my silos. reminds me of the time when I had to remove half of a desert. Even here I had to remove a lot of sand. But in my German world I wanted to make a desert temple and I had to remove a lot of sand. I think I streamed overall six hours on two days, so three hours per day. Just to get rid of all the same. <laughs> the same here when I built my temple here. Oh. I should get this wood. Oh. So. So. Okay, that's... Oh, here's one. So. There's more wood. 
So. Hello there. <laughs> so. Ah, I didn't have to go that far. I should collect some dirt. <laughs> So that I can fill out the holes in the ground. So should be enough. thing is that it's not as hot as it was last week so right now I don't die shuffling all this dirt <laughs> because the heat was really extreme. We still didn't get any rainfall so water is still pretty rare uh, but at least it's not as hot anymore. I hope we'll get some rain soon. My garden looks like a really bad wasteland. Everything is burnt. Most of the flowers didn't even grow as much. I have some flowers that actually grow up to la like my chest. And they are still just like three or four inches out of the ground. They are really tiny. Everything looks so barren and <sighs> it's not nice. We need more rain. We even um, watered all of the vegetables. But there are still almost no fruits or no veggies and it, this year is really bad for gardening. I can get rid of the stone with a sledgehammer, that's easy. I am the dirt master. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Dirt devil. <laughs> Setting a new high score for mining blocks in 10 minutes. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I could. I mined 2000 blocks. That's not bad. Still need like 20, 20 times this much. But here.
Ah, I will get this dirt from above. Like so. So I think that's good. Oh. I didn't thought that I would take this long to just get rid of <laughs> the surrounding area. Come on. But hey, I was able to talk about some Harvest Moon. <laughs> some Moon Factory. Just a bit more here. And done. Oh, okay, I will get the stones next time. My furnace. Yeah, looking up in the air can be dangerous. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really hope that my farmhouse will look really nice once it's done. So, yeah. I hope I can see you again next time. Till then, please stay healthy. Bye!